why I focus so much more on calisthenics than I do with weightlifting. Well, I'm going to tell you. And well, and let's get this video going. You see, the reason why I've been focusing so much with calisthenics because, you know, I actually thought, you know, it actually helped me feel a whole lot better. You see, calisthenics is, you know, not only that is, not only that you're maintaining your muscle, but you're also gaining muscles in calisthenics as well. Because you know what? I used to lift, try to go for heavy weights, but in turn out, weightlifting is not really for me. Because, you know, when I was grabbing a while I was grabbing a big thing of 60s, you know what happened? I almost, I almost tore up my shoulder right here. And I almost tore up, I almost tore it up. Yes, when I felt that pop, I was like, ah! Woo! I'm telling you, it hurt really bad. And you know, it hurt for like almost like uh, five weeks. Because you see with calisthenics, you see, you can work out with anything. You don't need all these, you don't need all those fancy equipment or any fancy gymnasium to make you stronger. Oh, I guess you're wondering, like, a, what is calisthenic? Well, calisthenic is a type of bodyweight workout. You know, you're like you're doing push-ups and sit-ups. But there's more to calisthenics than just that. Well, cal with calisthenics, it's more like a flexibility and get your, and having strong core. And all that strength in your muscles, too. Like, you gotta have a lot of arm strength. But as you can see, I put the eating and exercise together. And look at this. You see? This is the best of both worlds. So, you see, when I first started going to the gym, you see, I want to lose all the weight. Well, not necessarily all the weight. Just want to gain all the weight back in muscles. Just you know... You don't have, it goes to show that you don't have to lose all the weight because, hey, losing every ounce of your weight is not really good for you and it's really bad for your health as well. You want to get too skinny. You want to, you want to get some meat in your bones. To work out with calisthenics, first, you guys always start out with the, with the normal push-ups. You see, when you work out with normal push-ups, all you got to do is keep doing normal push-ups and then soon you'll be ready for doing the next push-ups that you want to do and you want to learn too because hey with the help of that you can actually learn the stuff on you can actually learn the stuff of what you see in the gym or what you see on television because i'm telling you it'll it'll definitely change your life as well oh and you know what else i'll be doing with calisthenics What I've been doing with calisthenics, you see, I've been practicing so much with some with some jump rope. You know, it's like I said, you know, jump rope is not only good for cardio, but it's supposed to help work out your back, your arms, and your legs too. And it's supposed to work out your abs as well. So that's why I've been practicing. So I've been practicing jump rope so hard that I'm actually getting a whole lot better. Well, I'm actually getting a whole lot better for myself. So you see, yeah, and and now, now you may know like uh, about weight with weightlifting. Well, you see, I used to focus so much on weightlifting, but I don't do weightlifts anymore. Cause you know, everybody, well, everybody has their own different different size of workouts. Some like to do calisthenics. Some like to, and some like to do bodybuilding, and some like to do weightlifting. But what you see, I don't, well, as you see in me, I don't want to be a bodybuilder. And I don't want to be like those weightlifters, you know, to be lifting heavy. Because, you know, lifting heavy, mm, it's not really a good idea. But to be honest with you, it does help you gain, get bigger muscle mass. But, but I don't want to tear up something in my body. So that's why I've been, so that's why I like to go with calisthenics. And yes, sometimes you got to warm up, warm up really good. Before you do calisthenics. Because hey. No matter what they say. People want to meet. 
you know, people wanted me to start lifting heavy weights. But I said, like, nah, I don't do heavy weights every, anymore. And I don't do weightlifting anymore either. I mean, yes, I'm still going to do lifting some dumbbells. But it's going to be like little dumbbells. You see, I'm not going to go big on them this time. But you see, it, it just let's just say it just turned out that weightlifting is not really for me. Well, it's not really for everybody. Well, for some, well, a few people, some people rather calisthenics over weightlifting. I mean, yes, with calisthenics, you're actually going to gain a lot of muscles. Actually, you going to build lean muscles. Because as you can see, I'm already on my way there. Because all I, all I keep doing is putting in at work and it's actually going to help. All the stuff and workouts I be doing is actually helping me get some results as well. So you see, like I said, I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I'm just happy where I'm... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just happy where I'm at right now. Just have me a cup of green tea. I mean, I mean, yes. I mean, I know not everybody you see around here is not a fan of calisthenics. But you know, there are some people out there who loves calisthenics. And some people love to do weight, do weight lifting too. But you see, but like I said, you see, I don't really necessarily do heavy weights. Can you see, guys? I've been taking so much time with heavy weight, heavy weights, and you know what happened? I almost tore. Oh I mean, yeah, I already told you. I already tore, almost tore up my shoulders, and I almost tore up this side. It was this side that kind of hurt. But you know, it took a long, long time for it to heal. And you know what? After those days, when it finally healed, I was like, oh, finally! I thought it was never gonna go away. So. That's the that's when it's Sunday to say like a you know what weightlifting not really for me. And you know what else, guys? Like I said, and you know what else, guys? I don't. Oh yeah, I already told you. I don't want to be a bodybuilder. I'm just blessed where I'm at right here. I mean, yes, I'm gonna make yes, I'm gonna mix it up with calisthenics and weightlifting. But I am gonna keep on. But. I am going to keep doing calisthenics, you know, even when I'm, because let me tell you, even when I'm 40, I'm still going to do calisthenics. And maybe when I'm, and you never know, maybe in my 60s, I'll do still do calisthenics. And maybe in my 80s, I'll still continue working out, no matter how old I get. Because, hey, you're never too old to work out. Because I'm saying, I know there are some plenty of senior citizens out there that are still exercising. And there, I know some of them in their seventies are still exercising, some of them in their nineties still exercising, even some of them in their hundreds and are still exercising. Wow, isn't that crazy or what? Cause I'm telling you, yeah, I don't want to be too big. I don't want, yeah, I don't want to be all really big, and I don't want to be all, t I don't want to be all this large. I just want to be like this. Cause if you're like this, you know what's gonna. If you're this large, you're gonna have a hard time scratching your back and everything. But I'm just happy where I'm at right now. Cause you see, as when I'm doing exercises, I'm just focusing on what I like to do, not to please everybody. I'm just focusing on what I do best. Just work out, drink water, eat properly, and go to sleep. But well, I guess I'm about to wrap this up here. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time in the wink, alright? Perfect!